I'm freaking out. Hi guys, my name is Hannah and welcome to my new video. Uh, I have quite a lot of stuff to do this week, so I thought I would teach you something about a skill I think I'm quite good at. Procrastination. Let's do this. Why am I still unbuttoning my shirt? I am going to teach you how to procrastinate in 12 easy steps. Why do I keep unbuttoning my shirt? Let's get to it! Step number one. You need to clean up before you can start doing anything. Put the dirty clothes in the washing machine. Do the dishes. Iron the clothes that you wanted to iron about a month ago. I know it's driving you crazy. It's definitely driving you crazy right now. Go through your table and throw out everything you don't need. Make the bed. Polish the floor. Redecorate the room. You can do about a million other things too. Let it to your imagination. Step two. Panic! Oh my god! I'm not smart enough! I can't do this! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I can't do this! Oh my god! I don't have enough time! Oh my god! I can't do this! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <sighs> oh my god! There's not enough time! Step number three, make a list of everything that needs to be done. And when I say everything, I literally do mean everything. This is going to turn out extremely helpful while you're procrastinating. Everything that's on the list needs to be done. Find your keys. Watch an episode of Friends. P. Right now, I should find my favorite pen. Step number four. It turns out you are pretty tired. After all the list making and panicking, especially the panicking that got you really so tired, you can't keep your eyes open right now. So take a nap. It turns out I'm pretty tired. This will get you very sleepy and very moody, which is going to make your procrastination way more effective. For your own good, don't skip this part. Step number five. Find some other project to work on. You can make a YouTube video and then spend the next four hours editing it. You can make some DIY. I spent the last weekend making this. Basically, it's good for nothing, but you can spend days and days working on this. You can seed your own herbs. You can make these stupid things that you are never going to wear in your hair. Step number six, take a selfie and post it on social media. Using social media while procrastinating is also very important. Others can actually help you with your procrastination. Maybe I should actually get some friends. Let everyone know that you're trying to work. Step number seven. Do some internet research. If you just happen to go buy some YouTube video of a really cute cat, someone doing great YouTuber impressions, or basically anything else, watch it. You need to freshen up. Take your mind off things. Step number eight. This is one of my favorite steps, actually. Get a snack. You need to get some food so you'd have the energy to actually start doing your work. Have a croissant. Have chips. Have crisps. Have pasta. Have chocolate. Have an ice cream. Woo! you can make a smoothie. It could take you ages to prepare your food. Step number nine. You need to rest first. And what is the best way to rest after a good snack? Play a game, of course. Turn on your Sims. Grand Theft Auto. Counter-Strike. Zoo Tycoon. Civilization. Sim City. Whatever you're playing doesn't matter. Play it for a couple of minutes. So then you can say, oh, okay, um, uh, I'll get to work, but first I need to get my Sim a good job. Fine, fine, fine. I'll, I just need to finish this quest, all right? All right, all right. I'll just need to unlock this new kind of building. This can also help you get hours of time. Step number 10. Watch an episode of your favorite TV show. Oh, doctor, why don't you finally tell Rose you love her? 
Oh, maybe Ross and Rachel are finally going to figure all this out. Step number 11. Get a playlist. You can't work without music. And especially without music in the right order. Take your phone, tablet, computer and figure it out. Oh, should I play Geronimo before or after Happy? And what about Wonderwall? And what about Thump Thumping? Ooh, and what about You Give Love a Bad Name? So put together a playlist. Crucial. And finally, step number 12. Oh my god, I should have started working about three hours ago. It's too late now to start working. Well, I'd better leave it for tomorrow. So thank you for watching, guys. That's everything from me for today. If you have any other steps in the procrastination process, leave them down in the comments. Like this video, share it, watch it, tweet about it, everything. Follow me on social media. I'm looking for next time. Bye.